Hello there and welcome to this video on definite integrals where there are two areas, one above and one below the axis and in this example you may think this is simply the integral of y dx with an upper limit of 2 and lower limit of minus 3 problem with this is that you need to do two separate integrations because this little result around this area down here would actually be negative just the number not the area itself because your is under the x-axis so that means it's a negative area whereas this one's above the x-axis so this will be a positive area and you need to do two separate integrations one with an upper limit of 2 and lower limit of 0 to find this below the curve and then one with an upper limit of 0 and lower limit of minus 3 to find this here above the curve now let's start by saying let's do this area here upper limit of 2 limit, lower limit of 0 and this curve here is 4x cubed um, different, well, give respect to x now, this is equal to raise the power by 1 and then 4 1 over 4 times 4 is 1 so that completely gets rid of the 4 to 0 now you'll have let's substitute in 2 and you have 2 to the power of 4 minus this in square bracket minus 0 to the power of 4 2 to the power of 4 is 16 so you just have 16 minus 0 which equals 16 so that area there is 16 now this area you'll have substitute in 3 for x let's call it let's call x to the power of 4 let's call this f of x now let's do f of now we've got to change the limits so before we write f of whatever we're now integrating or we're now substituting in different values it's the same curve so it's the same integral but you have an upper limit of 0 and a lower limit of minus 3 and then this is equal to say basically the area here will be equal to f of 0 minus f of 3 it's basically what we've done here that's just f of 2 minus f of 0 here it's f of 0 minus f of 3 so we've got 0 power of 4 dodgy bracket um, minus minus 3 you can really tell we're going to get a negative number the power of 4 now we've got 0 minus right minus 3 to the power of 4 because it's to an even power it'll be it will turn out to be a positive number minus 3 times minus 3 times minus 3 times minus 3 minus eight, 81 sorry start there 0 minus 81 and that area there is equal to 81 minus 81 even now as I said before this minus is negative simply because it's under the x-axis so just say it's equal to 81 squared units 
square units because you find in an area unless you're given centimeters or whatever during the context of the question now you found the separate area now you've just simply got to do total area total shaded area equals 16 plus 81 equals 97 bit of a dodgy 7 97 square units try to fit that in and that is how you integrate where you have one area below the curve and one area above the curve